Hey guys, how's it going? Crane here. So today I'm going to give you guys this week's Tavern Brawl. And the only way I can do it is here in my hotel room while at BlizzCon. Because the time I'm going to be away at BlizzCon is exactly the time that you're able to play this Tavern Brawl. And I don't believe I'll get a chance to at any later time. So this is going to have to be it. I'm not streaming this content. I will be playing it just for the sake of this YouTube video. Because, you know, 72 Tavern Brawl videos in a row, I figured it's time I don't miss number 73 and uh yeah it's going to be a little bit of a different narrative because again i'm not streaming and uh there's also this tavern brawl is on the second day today I'm, I'm, I'm streaming check this out on thursday evening i guess friday early morning it's closer to be exact so it's not going to be like the first day probably going to be a lot of refined decks i really don't know what's going on and i'll give you guys my initial experience so you guys get some idea of tavern brawl this week First go out of here, I'm thinking, uh, trying the Dreadsteed thing. It's obviously been all over Reddit. I haven't seen any games play out, but it's definitely hard to ignore that one. Um, haven't seen any of these games play out, though, so I'm not too sure what will be great. Just put in some Void Callers, some Big Demons, some nice Synergy cards, some nice Counter cards, and obviously the... Um, the dread steeds. Now I'm up against the priest, and I'd imagine priests have uh, a few ways to manipulate these. Let's see, minion to the left have charge, minions to the right have taunt. Minions to the left. Okay. Let's see how this rolls out. I really have no idea, but. I imagine priests having like uh, Shadow Madness and maybe Cabal probably have a good way out here. Interesting. Well, I did include some board clears. They're just um, they cost eight mana here. I'm not too sure it's going to work out too well. I'll probably get absolutely crushed in my opening one here. So, his idea is he's got Cthune, and these early cards are reasonably good enough on them, on their own. I suppose that's true. How big of a problem is Cthune going to be? He's going to have three Cthune, so he'll probably get like a couple of them by the time that I'm even close to killing him. Sounds like it'd actually be a pretty big problem. Okay, so he is trading. This is ill-advised here. Interestingly enough, it, it's, it spawns on the taunt side. Hmm. I just kind of wanted to pick up a demon. I did end up getting one. P pretty good one, I guess. Do you hear its call? Okay, so he's going to go for it here. Well then, yeah, that was, that was not great, I would say. Alright, well, I'm just playing this to get his thing off the board there. Let's see how hard Malganus might be able to carry. I'd imagine reasonably hard, I mean, I don't think there's any reason to include, like, Shadow or Death or anything in your deck, so... I think I may have just lucked out and queued into a guy with barely any cards to his name, so... Alright. So well, we mostly learned that um, if you have no cards, this is probably not the Tavern Brawl for you. Now, well, we could play that, but I don't know. I think I'd rather just tap and take my chances here. Um, I just wonder, like, so if this dies, will it spawn over here? I kind of want to do that, that science, so... Let me just take it easy on this one. Actually, with a sacrificial pack combo, if it would work, could have done a ton of damage there. I feast upon the night. Uh. Well, there goes that. Alright, so I mean, we, we gotta try to do something about these uh, potential upcoming Cthunes here. Okay, I just don't know about playing that here is the thing. Okay, fine. 
I'm not going to force science it yet. I think I'd like to see how the juggler might work out here. Well, if he's going to top deck mode, he's probably not going to be able to do that much. Even if he has one Cthulhu, one Cthulhu's not going to do it. Let's just see where this ends up here. Oh, wow. That's a little ridiculous. Well, I can Hellfire and hit for another 4 after the 3. That makes my board pretty weak against Cthune, though. But... Seems fun, right? Seems fun. Alright. Cards with charge and cards with taunt. In a tavern brawl that you get charge and taunt for free. Okay. Well. A win's a win, I suppose. Now, I do believe that this is a very unusual lethal here. So... I'm gonna Twisting Nether. Oh, why did that spawn there? There wasn't enough space on the board. That actually stops me from having lethal. Why did that spawn there? What the hell kind of consistency is that? Oh, right. Zombie Chow does the trick. Alright, so, I mean, I guess that's just one of those accidental savage BMs. Didn't it? Alright, well, playing against the druid now. Offhand, I can't really imagine something that a druid would do particularly well, given this format. But, um, we'll get to see, I guess. There's the miracle worker there. Dread Steed. Alright, own me. Show me what you got. I mean, that last guy was really no challenge whatsoever. And this is going to be relatively good. Alright. Hmm. I think I just charged there. It's not great, but I mean, once I get one Dread Steed going, it's just... It's just such insanity, isn't it? It's gonna have a board of dread steeds with board clears behind. So. Got some heals now. Yeah, I just don't think there's any stopping this. Are you my master? All right. We got some more Cthulhu action again. Yep. That works that way. So now it just appears like we have to dodge a silence effect. Now, if I was playing anything in this tavern brawl, I'd put in silence in my deck, so... I'll have to see how lucky we get here. Um, I think I'll just go for it, honestly. It's a pretty shallow heal, but getting two on the board is going to make it so much more resilient against silence. I'm just going to play a zombie chow and taunt. It's just, you know, you never feel that safe at 30 HP when you have innervates on the other side and just play giant charging minions. What does the future uh, yeah. Yeah, there's that. So, Wind Fury Charge. That's an interesting concept. I don't really think it'll be that much more successful than what I'm playing right now, but... We'll see. Alright. Well, you know what time it is.
Why are those over there? I don't understand. Alright, well, let me hopefully spawn one over here. Okay, well, I guess if my opponent is playing a Wind Fury buff druid, having two taunts that never leave the board is probably pretty good. Mm hmm. Now, let's see what happens when this dies here. I'm guessing absolutely nothing. And absolutely nothing is absolutely correct. Just go ahead and play the boy caller. I don't actually need to tap because I don't imagine there's really anything at all he can do here. And if there is actually something he can do, I really want to see it. What does the future? Uh, yeah. I'm just kind of curious. So I think... I think if I twist the nether... I'm gonna pop out a Malganus and reset three of them. Now, I'm not sure that'll happen. What the hell? What? Oh, that doesn't make any sense at all. I am really confused right now. But alright, dude. <laughs> Do your worst, right? What's he got? My Is that so? Your wow. Begins. Yeah, dude, that was... That was really something, actually, yeah. Yeah. All right, well, let's just kill Kthun for fun here. Malganus number two here real quick. Well, that seemed like another landslide. Let's try something else. All right, so we're trying this again here with, with the ramp mechaneer action, and I think we're probably going to see some decent use of these cards this time. So oh, maybe not. Uh, I put in uh, I put in wild growth, so I have the growth, I have the innervate, and I have of course the the loot hoarder for the early game. Uh, not drawing any of that and going second against the warlock that I can only imagine is exactly the type of dread state warlock I was playing. Well, that's probably a bit of an issue, though that's very helpful. So. Let's see what some of these rival warlock decks are playing. Nothing too fancy yet. Oh man, that's rough. Now, one one aspect that I hadn't really considered is the the mechanier combo wombo thing might take a lot of turn time. And considering my internet here at the hotel is actually pretty abysmal, that might be a problem, but We'll see. I just play some more card cycling here. I can ramp from four directly to six and add six coin. But I don't know. I'm still still kind of waiting for that juicy dread steed, you know. Maybe I'll just uh, save the coin for that. Because I do feel it's coming. See, like him, 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 he doesn't do anything at all. Oh, yes. Yeah, dude, get, get that dread steed, bro. Alright, he's at nine cards, right? I mean, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah, you know, I think I'm actually just going to ramp again. If I ramp, I can, I can clear this board out. And I'm pretty happy doing that. It actually gives me the option to play Mechaneer next turn, which is hilariously powerful here. 
But uh, sure, let's have a look and see how it rolls out. If he plays Dreadsteed, I, I actually have lethal. Which is... So awesome. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have to APM this up like a champ here. There's a lot of animation time. Oh, that can never attack, huh? Because this always, always, always has taunt. Come on, let's go. <laughs> oh, it's so slow! Dude, this sucks! <laughs> oh, dude, these big hugs take so long. We need smaller, just as lethal, fast hugs here. Yeah, there's no way I can do ten more in the given time frame, but I do. I do have the backup mechanier next turn, which I mean, unless he's able to somehow silence and kill off his own dreadsteed, I don't. I don't see this changing next turn, but... <sighs> Alright, dude, this is gonna come pretty close here. Didn't get that last attack. Oh my god, really? One... One too little. Alright, watch me actually die here to some combo I didn't think of. No, I think we've waited the required amount of time. I think, I think we're actually in pretty good shape here. <laughs> okay. Alright then. The bad news is, if he ropes me, we have to just wait a while. But the good news is, that if he ropes me... I get a double mechanier, which is just that extra little little bit of spice on the BM that is just so important sometimes and hurts them. I really live for these moments. Oh yes, of course. Oh, wow, that's actually not bad. But it does fill my board with lepernomes that that is a little bit of a downside. No, I'm thinking we, uh... No! Dude, BM stolen. 